So far, we've been working just with this cube. We've moved it around, we've rotated it, we've scaled it, and that's great, but it's not really all that much fun. So in this video, we're gonna look at the extrude tool, which is gonna allow us to add geometry to our shape or any other shape that we're working with. So to use the extrude tool, we need to select our object and then press tab to go into edit mode. Now in general, the extrusion tool is used with faces, but it also works with individual vertices or edges. So I'm gonna select the top face, press E for extrusion, and you can see that I get this vertical line, or more specifically, I'm getting a line that's perpendicular to the face that I've selected. If I then move my mouse, you can see that I'm extruding the shape and adding geometry to my shape. Click another face, press E to extrude, and we can move it like so. Now by default, Blender allows you to extrude along the perpendicular axes to that face. If that's not what you wanna do, say for example, I wanna extrude this, but I don't wanna go perpendicular, maybe I wanna go in the Y direction, I can extrude in the Y direction like so. Now this causes lots of problems and you can see there's something weird going on, so we typically don't do that right away. Another fun thing that we can do is if we extrude a face, I can then press S to scale it and we can start to get an inset face like so. I can then press E to extrude again. I can pull it out if I wanna create different geometry or I can even push it in in this case and we start to get an inset that looks maybe a little bit like a window, maybe a door frame. It's a pretty useful technique. Now, one of the issues that you might run into with the extrude tool is that you end up with double geometry. And that can happen if you extrude and don't really move it somewhere. And it's hard to know when this is happening, but it can cause problems down the road. So it's something to be aware of. So one way to get around this is to press A, which selects all. And then I can come up to mesh, merge, and by distance. And you can see there at the bottom, I've removed four vertices, which means that I extruded at some point, but didn't move it. And so I had vertices that were at the same geometric position. In earlier versions of Blender, this was known as removing doubles, but now we merge by distance and we get rid of it. If you're having some weird results in your geometry, try this, it might be helpful.